Day five, episode three in Philly, and this morning we're grabbing breakfast. An extreme breakfast, apparently. The question is, how extreme can it be? Bill Paxton and Twister extreme? Surely not. Surely not that extreme. Whoa, easy boy. Oh, here we are. Coffee station. That's a look at that. It's a sweet PJ park job. Now they have two food challenges here: the classic challenge and the extreme challenge. So I mean, you you just get a little bit more time, I think, for the extreme challenge. I can't do the classic one. I'd never live it down. And there we have it. Coffee station, home of the Morton monster. I think Morton is the area, maybe. Let's see if we can slay the monster. Hi, sorry, I was miles away. Do you have like a food challenge here? I do. Yeah? Yeah. And I make uh, YouTube videos for a job. So I was just wondering if it would be okay for me to... Is that okay? Yeah. Are you, doing, are you doing the challenge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's yeah, okay. whatever you want to say. Can I sit like in there? Yeah, go for I, it. I don't want to put people off, you know. <laughs> no worries. Is that okay in there? Yeah? yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Two cups. They know the drill here with food challenges. Not just the one cup. <laughs> the Morton Monster. That's, that's the sandwich. You, if you order the sandwich, it's eight bucks. Um, the challenge is 56 bucks. If you lose, well, the one that I'm doing, you, you, the, the extreme one is 56 bucks. The regular one, 32 bucks. It is a cool spot. They've got lots of wacky kind of memorabilia on the, on the walls. <laughs> Big Beaver Road. I'm saying nothing, Mrs. Beard, nothing. So that was the original, the, the classic challenge is now the, the extreme challenge, uh, which is slightly more, and uh, this this is the wall thing. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and do it. Oh my God, no, oh my God, you're gonna do it? Yeah, don't you think oh, I, yeah. you, you don't think I can do it? I don't think so. No? No. How long to do it? So you get an hour and a half to finish seven sandwiches. And it's all layered, so it's scrambled egg, cheese, bacon, scrambled egg, cheese, sausage on Texas toast. Okay, an hour and a half is quite a long time, so I guess they're pretty big sandwiches. Yeah, they're pretty big. I'm gonna have to give you a bucket. I don't think you're gonna throw up, but it's just in case because it ha it has happened before. Yeah, for somebody's sure. thrown up before. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. So all right, okay. Just to save the carpet. <laughs> Oh wow, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that right. is, that's some mountain of food. There we go. That was very man v food. Man v was this was the show man v food or man versus food? <laughs> wow, she's putting some pressure on me. She's like, you better do it! They gave me a bucket. A miniature bucket. You have to eat all seven sandwiches within the hour and a half time limit. You cannot get up to go to the bathroom. If you get up, then that's it. All right, we have to finish all of it in order to get the free shirt, picture on the wall, and the meal for free. Right, okay, otherwise it's $56? Uh, right? I believe it was 52, but I gotta double check. I think I read it off the map. I think it's 56. Was it 56? I think so. I don't all wanna right. tell you how to do your job, but I think it's 56. All right, I, I would say, I was like, <laughs> all right, well, I hope it's 52. What? <laughs> right, so I'm, uh, I'm. So everything in one sitting. Right, let's get it. All right, here we go. Go ahead. Timer begins. Good luck. You got Thank this. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video, installment three in this particular romp. And uh, today we're at Coffee Station, taking on their Man vs. Monster Extreme Challenge, which consists of seven of their allegedly award winning Morton Monster breakfast sandwiches, which you have to finish inside uh 90 minutes good luck thank you he won't be able to finish it <laughs> I mean, she might be right that lady was a lot of fun though her reaction when i said that i was gonna attempt it was priceless can't believe she didn't stick around to watch anyway if you uh if you do finish you get the meal free a witness t-shirt and if you do the extreme version, you get a little gold star next to your picture on the wall of fame. 
I let it cool for like 15 minutes, it's still piping hot. Uh, some of these are great though. Yeah, you know me. This is my kind of grub. American breakfast fair. And these sandwiches were top class. I can see why they um, they won some kind of award, I think. I don't know how long I've been going. Let's get some syrup on these suckers. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Only in America. Pour syrup on savory food anywhere else on earth and they'd probably commit you to a correctional facility of some sort, but not here. Land of the free indeed. I should have done this way earlier actually because the fillings are sandwiched between some pretty thick slices of Texas toast, which of course is fairly crispy. So that's really the, the trickiest bit. A lot of people have done the classic Man V Monster challenge, but only four have done the extreme version, including my good mates Ricardo Corbucci and Bob Shout, who by zealous public demand will actually be back on the channel soon. They're probably gonna have to burn that syrup container. I'll give you a close up of the sandwich just so you can see what's in it. I think it's sausage, scrambled egg, and bacon. Yummy. Yummy. You know, for a geezer with a master's degree in English literature, your propensity to describe food is absolutely appalling. <laughs> I have a four-year-old nephew who could do better than that. Maybe I'll get him to do the commentary one day. That might be a laugh. Oh. Oh. Accidentally turned into uh, Tom Jones for a second there for some reason. Let's get some more syrup on there. Yeah, why not? Can't hurt, can it? Since I haven't really been ordering dessert on this trip, I never do when I do, you know, a mini series. This this is going to constitute dessert for me. Technically, I mean, there's enough syrup on there. If you wanted to do this really fast, you could just coat it in syrup and then maybe wait 20 minutes, then start. It'd be easy. <laughs> you dial them. It's easy to say that now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. All right, let's check it out. Looks pretty clean to me. Is that okay? You finished in that much time. So I had one, one hour and 17 minutes left. Yeah. What can I say? It was delicious. I'm so I've made a bit of a mess of your uh, your, your syrup dispenser. So oh, don't worry about it. Now. That's nothing. That is nothing. Congratulations. Thank you. We're gonna get your uh, your shirt and picture. So let me go grab that for you. you Look at that. Back? Empty I, I didn't bucket. Need it. <laughs> See, I knew you didn't need it. Wow, you're awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was recording. That's that's pretty awesome. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you very much. There you go. This is a cool one. I almost don't want to touch it because my hands are a mess. But um, <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Eat it when it's hot. What do you say? Eat it when it's hot? Yes. Okay, that's, that seems like good advice.